Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. In this video we will show how to replace the Samsung LED strips that we have listed on the screen. Be sure to match the important information on our product page when replacing LED strips to be sure the replacement strips are compatible with the originals. When replacing LED strips, you will have to remove the panel. Removing the panel can be very difficult. If your TV panel is damaged during the replacement process, you will have to get a replacement TV. We'll start by removing both pieces of the back cover off the TV. Remove the cover over the TCON board. Use tape to hold the speakers in place. Disconnect the key controller and secure it to the chassis with some tape. Flip the TV over and using a 5-in-1 tool or a putty knife or something similar, disconnect the bezel from the chassis. Disconnect the buffer boards from the TCON. Release the buffer board from the tabs that secure it. Be very careful as this board is very fragile. Using painter's tape or something similar, tape the buffer board to the panel. Removing the panel is very important, but you must be sure the panel does not flex or bend. If the panel cracks or breaks, you will need to replace your entire TV. We recommend using a suction cup to lift and remove the panel, but you could also use some thin sheets of plastic or something similar to lift it away. Using a 5-in-1 tool or putty knife or something similar, pry the panel frame from the chassis.
Separate and lift away the layers of diffusion. You can tape them in the corner to keep them together and in order. There are some clips that hold the reflector sheet to the panel. They can be released on the board side of the chassis and then pulled out from the panel side. Be sure to look underneath the boards if you cannot locate all of the clips. Remove the reflector sheet from the chassis. The reflector sheet may be sticky on the back side that is attached to the chassis. Be very careful when removing the sheet so you do not tear it. There is a little bit of tape holding these original strips to the chassis. Remove the strips of tape and disconnect the LED strips from the cable before removing them. Install the replacement LED strips. To help hold the replacement strips in place, we are using some double-sided tape. Align the strips into position and then connect them to the wire.
align the reflector sheet on the chassis and reinstall the clips. Install the layers of diffusion. Reinstall the frame. Lift the panel back into position and be sure the corners align correctly. Release the buffer board and lock it back into position. Reconnect the buffer boards to the T-Con. Reinstall the bezel and be sure it is properly aligned. Reinstall the keypad controller. Reinstall the TCON board cover.
Reinstall both of the back covers. 